Located at the crossroads of South Asia and the Middle East, Pakistan is a land of strategic opportunities. This advantage makes it a place with endless business and investment possibilities. Blessed with over 170 million people and an ever-growing middle class, the country offers a lucrative consumer market as well as an enormous workforce. Robust economic growth indicators, untapped investment potential and the needs of an expanding world-class infrastructure make Pakistan an investor's paradise. The Fauji Foundation, though basically a trust working for the welfare of ex-servicemen, having originated from the Military Reconstruction Fund of 1942, has had its share and contribution to this national growth ever since it initiated commercial operations in 1954. Starting out with about 22 million rupees available to it then, mostly invested in a cereal manufacturing plant and a textile mill, it now has ownership or controlling interest in well over a dozen industrial and commercial ventures. Some of these are fully owned by the foundation, while in most others it has major shareholding and board control. This group, generally termed as the Fauji Group, has managed itself well over the last 55 years or so and is poised for further growth in accordance with the needs of the foundation. Over the years, it has emerged as one of the larger corporate groups of the country, having an asset base and net worth of billions of rupees. In fiscal 1954-55, the foundation earned just about 300,000 rupees. Now, over half a century later, the foundation by itself receives billions whereas the Fauji group as a whole earns many billions more from all sources. The major source of Fauji Foundation industrial revenue comes from what are known as its associated companies. Here the foundation has major shareholding and board control. Some of these have been sponsored by the foundation. Many of them are listed at the Karachi Stock Exchange. They represent the industrial corporate face of the foundation. These companies operate in numerous sectors of the national economy. In the fertilizer sector, Fauji companies command a majority share of the market. Our gas company operates the largest gas field of Pakistan. Fauji marine terminal operations are the largest and the only ones of their kind in the country. Beside, we have stakes in the power and cement sector and in securities. The Pakistan Maroc Phosphor is a joint venture of Fauji Foundation, FFC, FFBL, and a Moroccan government entity. It provides FFBL with a long-term reliable source of phosphoric acid, an essential raw material for DAP fertilizer. Fauji Foundation's shareholding in its associated companies has a market value of billions of dollars. These companies represent a significant part of market capitalization at the Karachi Stock Exchange. All of these companies are countrywide symbols of profitability, efficiency and excellence. There are another half a dozen industrial and commercial concerns that the Foundation runs itself. These are termed as fully owned companies. Together, their assets and net worth are in billions. Most of them had a pioneering role and their products maintain an iconic image in their respective sectors. Fauji Cornflakes since 1954 and Fawngas since 1973 are two such nationally well-known names.
The number of X services beneficiaries is in millions that constitute a significant percentage of Pakistan's population. They are served through hundreds of projects and thousands of employees in the fields of health, education, training, and employment. consuming a very large chunk of the foundation's earnings. Owing to a consistent pursuance of an unchanged mission, the foundation has emerged as one of the largest welfare come industrial organizations of Pakistan. With such a responsibility, the foundation has no choice but to grow and keep her. Foji Foundation's growth has been built upon a solid value system of financial and business ethics and corporate responsibility. The Foji Foundation does not default, pays all its dues, invests in well-regulated sectors only, does no speculative business, has no donation receipt system in place, meets all the needs of its welfare operations from its own resources, and is manned by a management dedicated to further the cause for which it was set up. Investors queue to partner with it and most readily trust its board control. Amongst the business houses of the country, it is a byword in reliability and dependability. The Foundation seeks to continue growth in its commercial and industrial areas so as to keep ahead of the increasing demands of the welfare of its beneficiaries. Its vision is to be a role model welfare come industrial organization that takes pride in saying that it is earning well and it is earning to serve.